This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I am joined by the illustrious Dr. Norm. Hello, but my cam isn't on. For we some don't. Reason. We don't need to see you hiding behind your sunglasses. I, know. I could fix it, nah. but that's okay. You don't need to see me. Why don't we just introduce our guest? Why don't we? I am very, very happy to be joined by my darling friend Brian Westbrook. So he's illustrious, and I'm darling. No, you're my darling friend. Oh, darling friend. Okay, so I, I'm. I'm just not darling. I'm a darling. friend. I used the big word on him. Yeah, <laughs> then he had nothing left over. Like oh, and and, and Brian. See. Ingenious. Yeah, whatever. Fantastic. What are we talking about again? I have no idea. <laughs> Want to write a bike? after hours. Have I told you all my favorite joke? No. It's not really appropriate, but it's after hours, so Tell who me. cares? Uh, how many ADD kids does... I'm ADD. How many ADD kids does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Want to ride a bike? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and, and you'll hear that joke at 30-hour day, too. That'll be fantastic. Yeah, that, I know, like, three. And the other one's not appropriate. Although... My grandmother-in-law told me the other inappropriate joke, so it's kind of, yeah. If your grandmother-in-law can tell you the other inappropriate joke, I can take it. Yeah, we can tell it at yeah. But I'm you'll, just saying. We'll have to we'll save it for... Yeah, we need to save the content so I, that people and, appreciate it. And the good news is, it's a long joke, mm-hmm. so it'll be good to fill up a lot of time. It'll eat up some of the stream. Uh, uh, 30 hours, so... It's a 30-hour joke? No, it's a 30-hour day. Oh, what? The day is 30 hours. Who the joke is 33 that? minutes. I don't. Whoever thought of it? It was one of two people, and it's one of those things. Do you ever have those moments where you're brainstorming with someone, and you come up with an idea, and then afterwards you don't know which of you came up with it? No. No? You lost me at brainstorming. Rick, who came up with that idea? Was it you or me? It wasn't me. He says it (laughs) wasn't him. I don't recall it being me. It was one of us. Rick's denying. (laughs) It was one of us. I don't know who did it. One of us is in a lot of trouble with the other person. (laughs) I don't know. <laughs> there's a there's an odd paradox there. I don't know. I don't know. Well, when really we kidding. figure out when we figure out who came up with the idea, then the other person will be allowed to be mad at them. Oh, right. So that's why Rick's not admitting that he came up with the idea. Because then I'll get to be angry. I see. I see. So uh, he looks guilty, doesn't he? He does look guilty. It's For the, those of you on complexion. audio, we actually have no no video footage of Rick looking guilty. Yeah, see, so you're missing nothing. He, he just happens to be looking guilty over in Studio B. <laughs> and Dr. Normal is giving me all sort of dirty looks. and. I think they're hand signals. They're like prompts and There were and hand stuff. signals, yeah. and there was like twist this way and lean in and pout your lips. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he wants anymore. It's because it's the day after Ignite. Right. And we scrambled into the studio with our cameras. Uh, you know, I... I and... I, and uh, then we were we we're going to do something really special, but it didn't happen tonight. And that is, we are going to a new a streaming CDN. provider okay. without commercials or okay. anything. Camera guy, camera, camera, guy. Are camera, you guy. With him, camera, camera guy, guy, are you with me? You with me? I'm going to look right into the camera and say, you know what, Mike, you were going to do something special, and then you invited BMW. <laughs> That's not true. So now you did something extra special. I've been know. super excited. Yeah, she's been anticipating this night for weeks and. I have. And, I love when we get to have you on the show. It's fun times. Fun times. Even though Dr. Noel has to put new policies in place every time you <laughs> come on the show. <laughs> just to manage it. But Oh look look guilty. He, look he guilty. hasn't he, he hasn't <laughs> left that place. <laughs> He's in his yet. mean oh. PDX seat <laughs> right I, now. He for doesn't those leave. of you who are fans of mean PDX, we actually keep Rick in the basement now. <laughs> yeah. I'm now the gimp. We let him out <laughs> for a uh, we hey, let him out for Ignite yesterday, you know, but we put him right back in his place. If you keep Rick in the basement, why didn't he reset the studio while you were gone? Because we uh, had the equipment. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we didn't unload it from the truck. Oops. That mm-hmm. was silly. You should have unloaded it We should it have let truck. him out of the basement to unload the car for us. But until... Camera. Yeah. But if we let him out of the basement, then he just runs off. He tries to go <laughs> home to his family. He tries to go home. <laughs> Not that... It, I mean, I don't know. Does his family see him at all anyway? I'd yeah. like to say yes. I mean, I, I, I spend <laughs> I spend a fair amount of my time in another state, and I think mm-hmm. I see Rick more of Rick than his family does. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, he's he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He is. I'm he just is. saying. Yeah. When he's not in our basement, we we send him out to social events. 
This is gonna be the this is gonna be the base of this uh, of this edition. <laughs> I think. Base, are, base, we gonna, base. are we gonna get somebody on Skype here? Tell the people about Skype. You can Skype in. Oh, Dr. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, if you'd yeah. like to Skype in and ask us a technical question, um, I think Doc it would be normal specified. Right now. Let, let me see right. if I, let me see if I can do this. Um, what kind I, of a technical I, I question would we even answer? I don't if know. you'd like people, to talk to Brian actually, and Gammy, uh, please Skype Doc Normal. You know, I can I can answer a question. This will maybe inspire people to ask questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of folks in the chat room were watching the Tech Love Live that we just that we just taped, and by just I mean like before the intermission that seemed to go on forever. Uh-huh. Uh, I was mo- I was in the chat room while everyone else was in the green room, like getting beverages and all that sort of thing. Yeah, tiki drinks. Oh wait, I have a tiki drink too. Make it, make it. Cheers. Oh, and you know what I'm not allowed to do? You're, oh, and you're not allowed to do what I can totally do. Yeah, you do it because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Normal told Cammy she couldn't do it, but he never told me I could Yeah, he never said Brian couldn't. So, so you know what? I, I just do it. Can, uh, can I be but, honest with you? Mm-hmm. I, I, I looked down at my Skype. I thought that that was the Skype sound. <laughs> it is. It's the Skype sound. Oh, we have a caller. <laughs> Hello? I'd like to ask uh, that BMW dude a, a que- question. <laughs> that voice does not say the word dude. You're right. It doesn't. Uh, but I want to get back to <laughs> where I was going with this. See, the funny thing about radio is you're mm-hmm. able to keep a couple of like tracks of conversation. In this particular case, the conversation I was going to have with myself was uh, that <laughs> Bix had a question in the chat room, okay. uh, a bit of a technical question. So maybe this will inspire other people to ask questions. It was about the pocket cameras. And uh, I believe the question, and, and Bix will either jump in or maybe call Dr. Normal on Skype if you're interested in joining the conversation. You can Dr. Normal and it'll go bloop, 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 and we'll add you into the stream somehow. Dr. Normal will run around and like plug cables and wires and stuff in. It'll be loads of fun. Hello? Hello? He, he wanted Are long, you joining us? He Hello? wanted a long Ethernet cable and he brought one that'll stretch to my house. <laughs> nice. It's kind of funny. I anyway. think we do have one that goes all the way up to where you Great live. Screen. Oh, that explains why my internet's really <laughs> flaky. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> back to my story. So Bix was Bix asking about know. the uh, pocket cameras, and mm-hmm. and by the way, I feel like if anybody wants to uh, to to buy Bix a present, he would love one of these pocket cameras. Every time I'm Probably around, not like, the sparkly purple one. I actually think he'd be okay with that. The really? JVC it's Picasso. Really somebody asked her Picasso, Picasso, P I C I S A S O. I should know how to pronounce it, but I don't. Uh, the JVC. Anyway, it's kind of girly looking for. Bits. Well, this is purple, but the other options were black and white, and okay. everything else is black and white. So I'm like, send me something that's not black and white. Don't, don't get purple. me wrong, I like the sparkly purple yeah. one. I have a purple iPhone case too. This I like is a your purple battery. IPhone case oh, too. somebody asked about this too. Um, product cam camera guy, you with that? Could have been. This me. is the. Uh, oh, no, we're working on. This is the. Uh, this is an iPhone battery. This is the Mophie juice pack. I've actually got it plugged in because I've consumed my battery all day today. But mm-hmm. um, this is actually charging. Uh, the iPhone, and it just slides onto your iPhone like so. Someone asked what the purple case is, because it seems like every time I show That's up in me. Portland, I've got a different case on on the phone. Uh, this is the Mophie Juice Pack Air. These are about 80 bucks. Uh, you can buy them at the Apple Store and such. Uh, they sent me the purple one because, honestly, I broke the black ones. I had two black ones, and I think they ran out of black ones on me. Mm-hmm. So they're like, we're sending this one a purple one. And then, But, of course, uh, yesterday, Rick pointed out you that it matched my matchy. shirt. And uh, I, I I tried to convince him that I had a, a case battery for every color. Clearly today, that's not. He was lying to you. <laughs> Rick's disappointed now that I don't actually have it. So back to Bix's question um, about the field of view, the mm-hmm. angle of the cameras. Um, some of them are definitely wider than others. So mm-hmm. you get more in the shot. You don't have to stand as, as close. Um, you can stand further away and get more of the don't shot. Don't stand without... so close to me. You can be closer don't to the stand. subject. Don't stand so. You can stand closer <laughs> to the subject and get more of more One of the subject in the that. shot versus having to like zoom by taking yeah. ten steps back. Which, yeah. if you're standing on the edge of a cliff, you can't really zoom back by stepping backwards. Exactly. Or you'll get a whole I mean, other. You could. You you'll get a whole other picture. I mean, it could yeah. be fun, you know, interesting video, but we might um, watch the air memorial. No. Uh, <laughs> anyway, some of them have a wider. So if you want to stand on the edge of a cliff and take video, mm-hmm. I recommend the one with the widest possible range. I don't know where this is going. The point is that they do have different ranges. Uh, and then the other thing you want to watch for that I was going to point out is some of the cameras you actually have to record in order to zoom. So you have to start recording well, and then zoom in. That's like defeating. It's self-defeating. As opposed that, to that zooming zoom in. On the on the footage is well, horrible. You can zoom on the footage. That's fine. But, but it uh, looks bad when but, you're watching. But yeah, let's say I want this shot and I've got my tripod set up. I'd have to start the camera, then zoom in on Cami Chaos. I'm Cami Chaos. Uh, I'm Cami Chaos. I'm. <clears throat> I'm not really. I'm, I'm an imposter. Cami Chaos. Well, 
Welcome, babies. Welcome, babies. Anyway. Um, you just like to say that, don't I you? I do. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Today, the voice of Cammy Chaos is played by... Uh, anyway, so the, the camera's like, they have say different your zooms. Na- you don't know how to say your name. My name or... I'm Cammy Chaos. No, you said oh, tonight oh, oh. the voice of Cammy Chaos is played by, and then you stop because you can't say Brian Westbrook either. I can say Brian Westbrook. It's my name. There you go. But I cheat because I say Westbrook. <laughs> As, otherwise, it sounds like Is that like, like when I learned to say read, write, web? Read, white, web. Read, See? white, read, white, See? read, 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 write, web. Read, write, See, web. See, it's R-W-W. You have to teach your brain that it's R-R-W. R-R-W. Yeah. yeah. I actually learned that, too. Yeah. Who told you Dr. about Dr. Normal that? taught me that. Maybe Dr. Normal taught me that, too. I think he did. It's about time he I think I remember something. that conversation. I think <laughs> I learned it the same time you did after I'd already here. had Marshall Kirkpatrick on the show, and I was like, I, I practiced saying that for an hour, and I couldn't and say it right. And now you tell me read, and write, you tell me? Read, You're right, write, though. Web. It's totally mental R. It is. Mental R. Once I realized that you go RR instead of RWW. Will that help you learn how to pronounce my last name? Westbrook. It's Westbrook. just the first time every time. Westbrook. Westbrook. Mm. Westbrook. I honestly just think, and yeah, I have I cool was, it's I always use, I put an R instead of a W. West. I always go Bruce. rest instead of rest. west. Westbrook. Brian Westbrook. <laughs> Apparently this is the dumbest content ever <laughs> because we are getting like <laughs> eye rolls and like. This is the best part. Like, like over here. And we don't care because we have all, tiki drinks. <laughs> we got the balloons. Oh, we got the balloons. Nice. Uh, I, I saw two things happening More while balloons. we were going on that oh, conversation. Look, it's you. Uh-huh. Number one is the balloons, mm-hmm. which is kind of fun. Reminds mm-hmm. me of the frame wizard screen. And uh, number two was Rick's so doing nice. this. He's like, no, move on. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We're done with you. What? Rick was giving what? us content advice. <laughs> Rick was giving, yeah. Rick, were you giving us the flag? No. Were you blue screening us? I'm playing Scrabble. I'm not doing Are you playing with me? Yeah, I'm going to take your photo off in a few seconds. No, because I was good and I put it on airplane right. mode. That's been done, I believe. I, I just want to say that Stephanie someone... Stephanie sent my phone off. Was it Stephanie? Mm. It was, I was Stephanie. I wasn't going to say anything. No, it was Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Stephanie may have sent my phone off I during, was so excited. So, the show. Um, I was on Live at 7 last night. <laughs> And I know I already mentioned that, but it was so great to see Stephanie again. It's I good that her. she's back. She's a lot of fun. That's, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. They were embarrassed that I showed the picture on the, um, the not embarrassed, but she was surprised. Blushy. And blush, a little blushy. Yeah. yeah. A little blushy in the chat room. Yeah. Did now she's probably blushing again that we're talking about her. I'm going to talk about Stephanie some more. Okay. So we oh. talked to Stephanie. We asked her if she'd come on 30 hour day. Mm-hmm. And her request was, can I come on at the end when you and Rick are complete masses? I, so I, Stephanie's going to be on for the last couple of hours to I, take care of Rick and I. I will say this. Um, she told me that last night uh, at the studio, and I was like, damn, that's a really good idea. Like, why didn't <laughs> yeah. I think of that? I'm going to be on for the first few hours. Everyone's got all this energy and, like, all this great, you know. And then We're going to be awesome when you're there. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, except for the fact that I'm there. And then it's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, no, by the time Stephanie gets there, Rick and I are going to be like, I don't know what we're, we're at, crying or killing people. I'm not sure exactly Or what. each other, you know, could be. I, I would never kill Chris. You'll have a bouncer. <laughs> Chris. Well, no, the bouncer will take care of me. Joe will take care of me. Rick right, is going to have right. to. If Rick tries to kill me, I like to believe that Joe will stop him. You know, maybe. But I also like to think if I try to kill Rick, Joe will encourage me. So, Joe, if you're listening, <laughs> I'm completely <laughs> confused. Is it bad when? Is it bad when the when when the, the folks Did that on make the show? Sense? Are, I think somebody's going to try to kill somebody, but you have a defense mechanism. I have Joe. I.e., he's like mechanism. a wall. Okay. He's awesome. Hey, Do you know how to pronounce his last name? Yes, it's Evans. Oh, jeez, that's easy. I, I need to break in here. Oh, we have a caller. Uh, no. Oh, that'd be no, fine. but he doesn't I am a like caller. us anymore. But I need to break in here for some content. Oh, um, I wait, hate I thought content. this was after hours. Content sucks. That's it. I'm off this. Okay. So, uh, why am I wearing can I, headphones? Can I jump Let's, on the sofa? No, you, you can. Yes, yeah. you can. Um, but so don't I just, hit, you'll hit your head. I just wanted to uh, refer to a tweet that you earlier sent out today, Brian. Oh, my. And if you could just direct your eyes at the monitors and just, um, kind of, uh, explain this. All right, I so um, I can. I'll, 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 it's very Christmassy. I'll, uh, hmm. I'll, I'll take this one for us all. It's not Thanksgiving yet. Um, so I work for a bunch of radio stations up in Seattle, and one of the more popular times of year is Christmas uh, for one of the stations. It's not Christmas time yet. And the station we're looking at is actually uh, today switched to Christmas and switched to Christmas music. And I will say there are a lot of people that say um, 
There are a lot of people that say, why switch early? And then there are a lot of people that absolutely love it. I will say this. The first song today was Christmas in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. You've heard the song? No. It's a little bit teary. I don't like to cry. Okay. Well, then you wouldn't like the song. So Christmas (laughs) is officially here. Just so you know. At least according to one radio station. It is not. I'm just saying. You can say it's whatever you want to say. I'm going to say that I am a webpage. hard and fast believer that you do not start the Christmas crap until after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is on Thursday next week. Hey, I put my Christmas lights up December 24th, 2008. I put my Christmas lights up when my daddy oh. gets here and puts them up for me. You know, there's a. I, I tweeted this the other day, but there is a service running around town mm-hmm. that will actually put up Christmas lights for you. And I thought, like, oh, this is some carpenter that does Christmas lights on site. Oh, no, it's a full-on business, christmaslighthangingservice.com or something. And I'm like, um, okay. Like, what do they work three weeks out of the year and then they're done? Like, the tax guys, they work from March to... But they must March make to... bank that couple weeks. I guess. But my dad does it for free. Can All your dad ha- come over to my house and hang Christmas lights? Will you make him a gin martini? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that all the thing? A whole bottle. I might have a caller. Oh, well. Is it my dad? See. I don't know who it <laughs> is. Dad's calling. Dad we'll commented see. the last time I was on the I'll show. I'll tell you what. My dad I'll, likes you. But your dad commented on a post that was a little, I think it was like not I related. I remember that. And it I, was, I was bizarre. Con- I was confused. Yeah, I just saw that. I think I, I think I emailed you to warn you. Yeah, you, you. didn't. No, no. You yeah. explained it to me and then it all made sense. It was fine. It, it, was, a, it was an appropriate comment. You for have the, some sort of message coming in on your phone. Somebody saying hi. I'm just, you know, that I let you know. Being yeah, no, my dad, I get the, the non sequitur from my father. That's what it was. It was a non sequitur comment yeah. in the blog. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. As sometimes there are non sequitur comments in the blog. You know, this is the longest call screening process ever. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm, we're going to do a nope, Christmas episode. Busy. Oh, yeah. And my dad's going to be the guest. There you go. When is the Christmas episode going to be? Well, Christmas is a Friday, so we're mm-hmm. debating. Maybe you lovely viewers can chime in on this. Dr. Normal's thinking we should do it on Christmas Eve, which is the Thursday. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, you know, it's... Dr. Cr- Normal's thinking we should never, ever podcast again. <laughs> I, I'm, Dr. Normal's the one that decided to do Nad Pod Pomo. I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, could I... Um, okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Dude, have we just been silenced for a freaking call-in? Actually, no, we've okay. been silenced for a freaking call-in about the... Fourth or fifth time now? I don't think I like that. How's words with friends going, Trozy? Thumb okay, one, one thumb up. Hang okay. On. He's beating me. Let's I see, kicked his ass the... yesterday. Today he's beating me. Caller, you're on the air with Brian Westbrook of Tech Toys and Strange Love Live. Are you there? What's your name? Hello, caller. Can you hear me? Hello, caller. Caller two, you're on the air. Oh, hello. Yeah, apparently we have no call. Turn your radio down. Uh, that's what we say. Exactly. It's like, Do you have a question, caller? Yes. Is there is there a question? Are you are you a long time listener, first time caller? I can't hear anybody. <laughs> I, think, I think anyone that calls right now is a first time <laughs> caller. Just well, guessing. you know he does like Doctor Arnold does the crazy talk show. All right. Well, good that. luck with podcast. that. Podcast. Which which BTW is apparently crazy. And talky. I've and he heard. he has Skype in uh, Skype oh. in and guests every every day except for the time that Rick and I were on. Except for today. Well, he's not doing crazy talk today because we do Strange of Life today. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, no. Makes sense. Go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Do we have another caller? Yeah, we might. Line three, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hang What's on, your question? Oh, sorry. Caller four. Wait. I'm sorry, you're caller 24. We're looking for 25. Hello? This Next is caller. really unprofessional. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing right now. Oh, I, oh, I, I heard that. Oh, I hear the Skypey noise. Oh, is that good? Oh, wait, hold on. Yep. We've got callers. Hang on, everybody. Rick, the God blows the bubbles. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. He drank all his juice. Did he just guzzle <laughs> his juice? <laughs> I'm working the uh, the board. Did we have a caller yet? Yeah. I think so. I think we're so. getting reprimanded for no content, but our callers aren't even present. We're actually we're, we're looking for caller 99 to win the pair of concert tickets to the um, Doctor Normal show. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're at caller 90. <laughs> so we're going to take the last 10 callers live on the air and it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting content. Is I that promise. beeping noise actually going to come through on the podcast? Because that's yeah. really obnoxious. Sweet. Are you calling people or are they calling us? I'm dialing for dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we could produce real content if you want us to. Oh my. This is yeah, great. I don't know, I don't know what's great. going on. We? we could make content if we, we want to. We could talk to. about something or we could just talk about the fact that there are no callers for another 10 minutes. It's sad. 
Well, I just like it when people Skype at you, and then you go, okay, so I r- rang you up, and then they're like, is this a Christmas show? In in chat, and you're like, yeah, it is. To you which, have a question? Right. To which no, no, no. Uh, let me be fair. Say, this is a holiday show. I'm sorry. Because I don't celebrate Christmas until after Thanksgiving. You're right. So wait, it's all, oh, right, because holidays. And it also could be, okay. yeah, could be any type of winter fest. What is your winter holiday celebration tradition? Mine? Yeah. <sighs> My family, we make a big, huge so pot annoying. of gumbo. Oh, and yeah? Then, yeah, and then we eat it. <laughs> And then we well, and then we drink a lot of gin. And by we, I mean my dad and I. Yeah, that and that's you know that's <laughs> enough, right? A lot of gin can be consumed by two people. Yeah. My brother is uh, a vodka man. One, you'd be an alcoholic, but when there's two people, you you're being festive. It's festive um, and it's family. I, we had a family tradition until we threatened to kill each other, and actually our family grew over mm-hmm. the years and, and just got became a little impractical. But um, when there was a five of us, we would go on a trip every year. We went to Italy. We went to Japan. We went to couple different places that i can't remember mm-hmm. new york one year um uh california we've been to italy did i say italy, you did. italy yeah. okay yeah. um london Even one year places places yeah mostly we tried to go international because it's a convenient week you take the three days off you get seven yeah and uh we would go somewhere on a trip but then we families grew and kids and babies yeah. and stuff and so it got it'll be a little bit unwieldy and we haven't been the last couple of years but the idea is we, we would go someplace and spend that time together rather than worrying about everybody getting together at somebody's house yeah. and everybody cooking and whatever. So I think I actually had, you know, like um, Thanksgiving dinner in an airport one year just because we're like trying, you know, going somewhere like, oh, this is Thanksgiving dinner. You know, of course, you're in Italy. They have no idea what Thanksgiving is, much less that it's Thanksgiving Thursday. Mm-hmm. Although some places like when we were in London, there was a uh, on the Fourth of July different trip, obviously. Uh, <laughs> that was completely Fourth random. Fourth of July Thanksgiving. The the thing. the Long Island iced tea shop put up a gigantic like three story high American flag on the Fourth of July. So it was, nice. It was kind of oh, it's very it's sweet. Like, you know, my dad's trying to convince us at some point we all need to go to Hawaii for Christmas. It's a good plan. I'm it's up uh, for that. I hear it's warm there. Yes, and uh, beachy. And you could have a tiki drink on the beach in Hawaii. I would be down for that. The other place I think they should serve tiki drinks in the tiki room. They don't serve alcohol at Disneyland. They don't serve alcohol at Disneyland. At, but however, if you just walk across to California Adventure, we're Bear putting Doctor Normal sleep. No, they serve they serve tiki drinks at California. You have to just go to the bar. You can get hard liquor. Mm. Caller, are you on the air? No, we know that the caller's in there. We actually have a caller. Caller, are you on the air? I, am I on the air? Yeah. Yes, you are. And just in the nick of time. Thank goodness. I you, might add. You're actually saving us from yourself. What's your name? Sorry, I don't recognize the voice. My name is Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Where are you calling us from? Northeast Portland. Excellent. Excellent. Hmm. Jennifer. I felt I felt bad that nobody was calling in. Is this JJ? Thank you. God. Thank you. This is JGS. This is I thought JGS. I recognized your voice. How are you? I'm lovely. How are you? I have a tiki drink. I'm wonderful. Thanks so, for doing an after hours save. Jennifer, do you have a personal holiday tech question for the tech guy, Brian? Tech and guru. Westbrook? Holiday tech guru, Brian I, Westbrook. I do. All right. So, this will be good. I'm listening. Go the ahead. Little, the little flip cameras. What's your preference? Oh, the that's flip a flip for the JVC. That's a great, great question. Um, I, I can honestly say I haven't spent a lot of time with the JVC camera, but I think I like the idea of having the SD card that's removable and I can swap it out. You know, put other like put it into my computer. I can you know swap multiple cards out. One of the things I'm always finding with the flip cameras is that I'm always filling them up, forgetting to transfer them because you. I mean, you have to go to a computer to transfer them. You can't really just you know pull the memory out of them. So I think I like that concept. Uh, the JVC is 1080p, whereas the flips are 720p. Uh, the other nice thing I like about the Flip Ultra is that it it's HD, so it's 720p HD, but it mm-hmm. uses the AA batteries that we showed you earlier. So that is handy because you can get those anywhere. You can get those batteries anywhere. Whereas cool. the, with the JVC, it's a rechargeable. So honestly, it kind of boils down to what you're planning on using it for, what your level of comfortability with the technology is. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend one versus another for everyone but in certain cases there are there are enough unique features about one versus the other that you kind of just want to 
give them a shot, take a look, read, figure out what you're going to do with it, and uh, make a decision that way. They're both great cameras. They both do great video. And I will tell you, uh, one of the things you have to do with either of the cameras is get yourself a tripod. Get one of those little handheld tripods. You saw we had the Joby on the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, Those are both great, great items. Are you looking at getting one for yourself or as a friend for a gift? Yeah, for myself, actually. Well, it is a season right after, for giving. I, right after I get a job, then I'm going to celebrate by buying a flip. <laughs> yes, there you go. That's a job. Job. That's, get, that's a good yeah. I'd say one with the SD card, though, because this SD yeah. cards, the, the ability to pull those out and switch them is invaluable. It, it now, I'm wondering, be. because of, a, of a, uh, a camera that I used to have, if the SD card has a, is a big one, will it take longer video? Uh, the size of the SD card will definitely, you know, it's like 8 gig versus 16 gig. They have 32 mm-hmm. gig cards now. Will definitely mean you can take more video. Okay, okay. Uh, the, 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 the larger size capacity card, the more video that you'll be able to capture. Okay. Thanks for Thank calling, Jennifer, from, all the way from Northeast Portland. That was at JJX on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Jennifer. Thank you. And of course, Talk if, if you thank have you, a Jennifer. thank you, Jennifer. If you have a question, you can reach us now. Just reach Doc Normal on on Skype, and uh, we'll try to take your call. Um, you know, this is normally where we go to commercial break, but since we're just rolling with it, maybe Doc. Do you have Normal. a public service announcement? I can maybe do a, a PSA. Uh, let, let's do a PSA. Camera guy, you with me? You with me, camera guy? I, I, I got to remember like to look at the camera and not move because the mics will not pick us up. Coming up on December eighteenth is a charitable fundraising drive featuring two of your favorite podcasters. Here in the Portland area. Oh my God, Rick is blushing. Rick Tarosi of Silicon Forest and Cami Chaos of Strange Love Live, Tech Love Live, and a whole host of other podcasts that you know, enjoy, love, <laughs> download to your iPod every week. It's called 30 Hour Day, and no, the calendar hasn't changed. It's actually a 30 Hour Day. They'll be live on the air, loopy and in full effect, for 30 whole hours, starting December 18th at 4 o'clock. Whether you're here, there, around the world, you can tune in and watch. For more information, go to 30hourday.org. I'm Brian Westbrook for 30 Hour Day. That's why we have Brian. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's why we have him. Did you like that? Don't, don't do that. I yeah, wish he was here right. to do, like, we, we needed a bump Control. recorded the other day. A bump recorded? Oh, yeah, you need, like, a little voicer? Yeah, when Rick and I have to do a bump, it turns insane. <laughs> Caller, are you on the air? <laughs> it just gets messed up. What I heard was when we have to do a bump, it gets messy. Hello, <laughs> hello, caller. caller. How are you doing, caller? Do you have a holiday gadget question for our Don't the callers even get to introduce expert? themselves? Can I? Can Brian I? Westbrook. Why is Morgan hiding behind my laptop? Because Morgan has a funny comment and is like, "Oh dear." Uh, I, I'm sorry, caller. We didn't catch your name, mostly because uh, Doctor Normal forgot to ask. What's your name? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know your name? <laughs> I'm scared. You probably have the wrong. That must have been some good shit. I guess. Jeez. Caller, turn down your yeah. radio. I actually think that was another person in the room. Are the you uh, Are you still there with us, caller? I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I can hear you. If you can hear me, can you hear me now? What's your What's your name, caller? Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling. Yeah. Uh. I, uh, I and, and have a great holiday season. Thanks for calling in. We're going to go to the next caller now. Oh, uh, we are? Yeah. <laughs> because Apparently. that caller's not talking to us. I yeah. know. We, uh, we kind of hate to be ignored. I'm just, uh, you know. Just it's like, not that we're drama queens or anything. It's just that when you call us, oh, we want oh, you to talk. Oh, 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 hey, uh, Hang Cammie. On. Hang on, everybody. Brian. Speak for yourself. Caller, what's your okay, name? That's fair. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Jen. Oop. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, this is Jandroid. On. Hi. Can you hear there me? you are, Jandroid. Jandroid, how are you? Hey. Brad. Now, oh uh, God, I'm hearing some feedback. Do you have the volume on? Hi. It, is the chat room not, Is are the folks listening at home not able to hear the callers? No. They, okay. They should hear. Okay. Oh, no. We're, we're getting feedback that, uh, that, that those in the chat room cannot hear the callers. So I'll try to repeat the question while we work out that technical difficulty. But in the meantime, uh, Jandroid... Could we um could we get to your question? You had a tech question, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, Brian. Um, I don't know if you work in the realm of audio at all. Well, I, I work in the realm of audio enough to make sure my headphones are working. Go ahead, go ahead, ask your question. <laughs> I I clearly don't. I have an H2 Zoom. Yeah. And now when I record, 
I'm getting a pro too. Sorry about that. Um, sorry, made me crazy. Just, just anyway. pause your stream. Yeah, you're, you're, the reason we're getting an echo is because uh, your computer is picking up the sound uh, as you're calling into us of the stream. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, if you just pause the stream, you can resume where you left off. Oh, okay. Hang on. Then you can hear Hang yourself on. after. It's kind of fun. Okay. You can like, listen to yourself on the air. Here, about you can actually do that. One in a thousand. Two in a thousand. There we go. All right. Is that better? Oh, yeah. yeah. Much better. Thank Perfect. you. Oh, okay. We have the technology. We can do this. <laughs> yes. So right. you have an H2 um, Zoom. <laughs> I can be trained. Anyway, this H2 Zoom. Um, I've, I thought at first that it was because I had low batteries in the darn thing, but every time I record recently, when I go to play it back on my computer or, or someone else goes to play back the files, they're coming out at a very low volume. Mm -hmm. Any idea why that is? Oh, there could be a number of different things going on. Um, one of the things that you want to check to make sure is that you're recording at the appropriate uh, the, the sampling, because sometimes the sampling is off from either the computer to the whatever program you're listening to it on to, to play back on. Uh, if the sampling isn't okay. quite right, or or some of the settings don't match up between the player and the recorder, you can get weird effects. It'll sound like chipmunks. It'll be over pitched, or it'll be under pitched, or the volume will be too low. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, to try it in a different player. Uh, if you don't have, I highly recommend uh, Audacity. A U D A C I T Y is a free editor for sound. Uh, try that. You could try VLC player. You could just try a couple of different things, and then on the HL2. Um, for example, I, I don't know if this if this actually affects on this recorder, but uh, I have a pair of headphones that for the longest time were super low when I plugged them in my iPod, and I realized that was because there's a little switch. You pull out the cable, there's a little switch that goes from uh, one type of audio to another, like high and low, I think it is. So when you flip it to high, the iPod sounds great, but when it's on low, it expects you're plugged into a stereo system and you've got this long, oh, right. you know, big amplifier and stuff behind it. So look for something like that on the recorder. Um, and then I actually have some uh, some folks that work at Zoom that I can put you in touch with if you still have problems. Hit me up on Twitter. We'll get you in touch with them and make sure that that gets resolved because you should get pretty clear audio. The the Zoom products are great. Uh, they've got yeah, the two, the four. Perfect. I was really pleased with it. So it started off great, and then now you're not getting good audio out of it? Correct. And I've been trying to share files with people. I'm trying to teach people some songs. And sure. so I record the songs for them and, and then uh -huh. I you know, edit them and, and create an MP3 for them. And, and both me and the other person agreed that the file, that the volume was just really low. Yeah, I, I would I would suggest uh, try different audio. You might also try bringing them into your friend's computer. Make sure that you don't have something set on your computer weird. Um, and then go back to the HL2. It sounds like if it was working before, you may need to just wipe out the settings and start over. And does the okay. does it have an audio input? Like, could you put a mic input into yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. That's maybe maybe try using oh. a microphone instead of just the standard input, and that will get you a lot cleaner sound a lot of times. Sure, sure. Although that's kind of too bad because it's it's super handy to use, you know, just as it is. In fact, my on my this sounds lame. I know I have my MySpace page. How what is that? But you know, I'm a musician. What can I say? Mm -hmm. MySpace is actually good for musicians. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, and, well, and, and the and, other thing I was going to say is, uh, is is sorry to cut you off. Is if you plug the microphone in, I think to Cammy's point, if you plug the microphone in and that works. That tells me maybe there's something oh, not working exactly. on the microphones right. built in. Yeah. You can send it in for repair, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's about troubleshooting, like narrowing down what piece exactly. of it isn't working, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, fix it appropriately from there. There you go. But, awesome. Well, but well, thanks hey, for calling. And uh, great. and great great photo show last night. It was a lot of fun uh, to check out your work and, and to see it. Uh, Jandroid on Twitter, at Jandroid. And she's got some great photos that are at Northeast Lounge, Northeast Local uh -huh. Lounge. Uh, they, you can find them on Twitter at at Northeast, any local lounge on Twitter. And your photos are up there for a couple of weeks November. or the month of November. So definitely go check them out there in the back section. There's some great art in the front section. The photos are in, the, in the, kind of the back room there around the pool table, I think it was. Um, so you definitely want to go check that out if you're up in Northeast Portland. Thanks for calling. It was lovely Thanks to meet so you much. last night. Rock on. Thank you, Jandroid. Bye. So uh, that was a good question. That was a very um, good question. You know, those are the kinds of things that that you know that I get from time to time. And you know, mm -hmm. frankly, I, I've I've played with the HL two. I'm not super familiar with it. And sometimes it's about you know encouraging people and and basic troubleshooting techniques. And sometimes you don't have the exact. Oh yeah, flip this switch. I know. You know. But I've just found with video devices, the audio uh, component. While it's there and you can hear someone talking, it's not always the best, especially when you're recording music. So adding in that extra microphone. 
is usually very helpful. Well, these these devices, this the HL2 series, um, Eric Pod has, uh, I think, a, is it a two or a four he's got, but he has that, the device he does all of his oh, podcasts with. Oh, it looks like a TriCaster. Exactly, yeah. it looks like a... Or tri- tri- not TriCaster, tri- yeah. Tricorder. Tricorder, thank you. Yeah, uh, but those are great because they've got XLR inputs, which mm-hmm. is the professional level mic connections. So they're really good, solid, solid, solid state, if I could use that word twice in a sentence, uh, recorders for capturing audio. And like you said about video, it's like, you know, a lot of times video is good. And especially like on these on these hand, you know, handy cameras, yeah. like the video can be good, but the audio is kind of meh, mm-hmm. especially if you're recording an event or something it's and you're recording a band. Me- it's meant to record the video. It's not exactly so much for the audio. It'll record good audio, but if you want great audio, you've got to go outboard or something like yeah. that. So. Let's go to our next caller. Uh, caller, are you there? Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. Uh, you have a question? What's your name? Uh, my name is Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, How are you doing? Yay. I'm well. Um, I do have a question. Um, first of all, the lady with the H2, yeah. um, she might try to go on uh, they online and check out uh, new, they downloads, they have new software for that. Like Oh, firmware all update. The time. That's okay. a really okay. good point. Yeah. Yes. And that actually is a really good piece of advice you bring up for almost anything. A lot of times there'll be drivers, there'll be bug fixes. Uh, you know, half the time you don't know what's broken about it. You load the latest patch, magically it's fixed. So, good point. Doug, did you have yes, another question? And they have a good forum on, on there, too. But my question is about USB microphones. Yes. Um, yes. I'm I'm in the market for a USB microphone. Now, can I buy a, a really decent one for, you know, $100, $150? Or do I have to spend some good money to get a really good quality USB mic? It, you know, I'm, I'm going to push back that on that. That is a great question, Doug. I wonder if uh, Dr. Normal yeah. might be. I'm going to push back on that question for just get a little bit of clarification, and then I want Dr. Normal to jump in here. What do you plan to do with this microphone, and what sort of setting are you going to be in? Because microphones run the whole gamut of, uh, you know, they, they can be thousands of dollars and, mm-hmm. you know, dozens of dollars, and sometimes it depends on your purpose. Are you recording audio that you're going to process later? Are you doing it in a quiet room? Are you trying to capture a band or on-location audio? So, well, um, and, and having some background on Doug, he's a, a musician right. as well as a blogger okay. and I believe uh, a sometimes podcaster, so that is a very appropriate question to mm-hmm. ask him. I'm going to say uh, check out the microphones from Blue, the Snowball series, and I know the they Blue just came, they, they came out with a new one that I haven't had a chance to check out yet, uh, but that's supposed to be a great microphone. Of course, the Blue mic itself is a good microphone, the USB microphones. Uh, another thing you might check out, I know Shure has one. Uh, there are a couple others out there. There are actually XLR adapters for a regular microphone. And because you're a musician, mm. you may have microphones that you prefer to use with a simple USB adapter, 50 to $100. That might get you where you want to go. Dr. Norman, do you have some other thoughts to add in there? You know, Brian, I, I think you covered it quite well. Um, you, you named a few professional microphone manufacturers like Blue and Sure, and they make professional mics, M Audio, all mm-hmm. of these names, and they all have lines in uh, in uh, USB mics. So I think any of those that make standard uh, musician and vocal mics are are a good choice for. Uh, for uh, uh, USB mics, and I know that the uh, blue mic is very, uh, very popular, Doug. Um, one thing you also did point out, uh, I don't own a USB mic, and, and I thought that was a good good advice as well, is to get some sort of uh, interface, like a preamp with XL, buy a, if you have the money, buy a good, um, a good mic. Uh, this mic right here that we're using is an AKG. Mm-hmm. Uh, AT2020. It's just an XLR mic. It's powered uh, by the board. You get that in a preamp with like a FireWire or USB mm-hmm. uh, out that has the audio to digital converter in it, and uh, that can be really nice. So. so, what I think Doug was asking though is if he can get a USB mic in the hundred dollar range, or if he has to spend big money on it. I know that I know that you can get uh, the USB to XLR adapters, uh, the devices that will actually translate the audio from an analog audio signal into a USB signal for in the hundred dollar range. Um, the microphones are right around mm-hmm. 100, 150, definitely under two hundred dollars, depending on the microphone. And I was just gonna say from a purchasing standpoint, Buy one from either a local dealer that has a great return policy or order it's, it online from some place that you can. Policy. It's a great, just a great idea in general, but especially with microphones because mm-hmm. you can't really know it until you get it into your environment. Try yeah. it out. 
you know, don't let it sit on the shelf for the first couple of weeks. Actually, give it through the you know order it right before you're gonna Buy need it, it when you need it exactly, yeah. and then and then give that a shot. So thanks and for I, calling, Doug. Great question. That's right, and uh, I can jump in here and say that uh, some of the big music retailers that you might go to, absolutely, they know about USB mics. They have them in stock. They know about digital. They know about software. They know about podcasting. Now you can go into the audio section of your guitar center or mm-hmm. one of these guys. And they'll talk to you, and they, they'll know what you need. So I think that's an important point, because you hear music store, and you think, oh, I don't need guitar, I don't mm-hmm. need drums. But if you're podcasting or recording audio in general, it's a really, really good resource. And I tell you this, um, the, the guitar centers I've been into uh, have had, maybe I've just been lucky, but they've had great customer service. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, yeah, they you could spend all do. day in there and play around with the different things. They don't mind. In fact, they enjoy it when mm-hmm. you... You know, like, hey, what does this sound like? What do these things sound like together? And like, oh, yeah, I, think, you know, I, I, I don't want to be the person who has to put all that stuff away at the end of the day. Exactly. But uh, they're but more good. than happy to show you and, and, and play around with those things. So thanks for calling, Doug. Yes, thank you. I think we have an, another caller coming up on the line here. Just uh, Another caller some... coming. That's right. <laughs> have we had uh, so many calls in one night? Like a crazy. We oh, we have. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we've had some callers. I thought it was exciting. but It is exciting. Maybe. Yeah, right. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we don't have a caller. <laughs> this is where you do uh, another, another, PSA. another PSA, right? I don't know what I got. What do I got to PSA? Um, we could talk about some stuff. I'm all distracted. I'm off my game now. I had tiki drinks. We had callers. That might be oh, why. Hang on. Oh. No, no. Normally, tiki drinks make me, you know. Focus. Focus. Oh. Rain spot all. Okay, let's see. Dr. Caller, are caller. you on the air? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, this question for Brian. Brian, this is uh, Lane Portor Traffic on Twitter. Hey, how you doing, Portor? Hey, pretty good. Hey, got a quick question for you. Yep. Um, thinking about starting to do uh, podcasts for traffic reports uh, during mm-hmm. the day, just try to make it easier, and instead of you know, always doing Twitter, i um, wondering, I'm running a netbook PC um, mm-hmm. with a regular microphone jack, or a microphone jack. Uh, built in with webcam Mm -hmm. i'm wondering would that work just to start out with podcasts or would you recommend uh giving an actual um microphone well uh you know it it's interesting you ask that question because a lot of people think that you need high-end equipment you need a lot of you know fancy bells and whistles they go out and they spend thousands of dollars on equipment for podcasting and you know you find out then that really quickly you don't actually need a lot of fancy equipment to do a podcast. I mean, even Strange Love Live started out with much less and then grew organically mm-hmm. with good content, building up the followers, giving back to the community, those kinds of things that make any show successful, whether it be a podcast or a broadcast of any sort. Uh, and so to your point, I think for you, the challenge is going to be having a netbook that can keep up with the recording. And if right. you're not running on your netbook Windows 7 now, you may consider it. Windows 7 is great on netbooks. Uh, it'll help the performance, the speed. Uh, I've found that on my netbook, I can overpower it fairly easily. So you may want, especially if you're recording you know, longer video and audio, you may want to give it as much as possible. Windows 7 is a great way to do that. Uh, the second thing to consider is that because you are using the onboard microphone and the, and the video camera, be really concerned about your lighting and also try to do the recordings in a quiet room. Well, I don't. Okay. Are you doing an audio or a video? It sounds like just you're, audio, actually. Just audio. Okay. So lighting's not really. A lighting wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> you mentioned webcam, and I wasn't sure if you were also doing video on that as well. But if you're just doing the audio, um, try to do it in a quiet room. Uh, you know, sometimes background noise can be effective, but if you can manage that background noise, that's fine. But when you're trying to do it on a built-in uh, computer, it's going to pick up just about everything in the room. Mm-hmm. So you might want to find a, either quiet time of the day or a quiet room to go into, one that doesn't have a lot of echo, uh, and experiment. You know, sometimes uh, it might be the room down the hall or, or next door. It might be the kitchen is the quietest room in the house to, to do something like that. But you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You certainly don't need a whole lot uh, to get in there and get started, and it's all about the quality content. So if you have something you're passionate about, start a podcast, launch it out there. There'll be five people listening to it the first week. You'll grow and you'll grow from there, and then and then after that, you know, the sky's the limit. And that really goes to whether you're interested in traffic or you're interested in you know teaching guitar or uh, you know Jandroid wants to teach music lessons. It doesn't really matter what your content you're doing if you're passionate about it same thing with blogging if you're passionate about it you want to make sure that you uh follow through with it keep the content fresh and uh and and go with what you've got don't worry about spending a lot of money right away to to keep it going 
All right. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Lane. Thanks for calling in. Yep. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, caller. That was uh, Port or Traffic on Twitter. Nice guy. Name is Lane. Oh, okay. Lane. Lane. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't catch the well, name the first time. It was S C H Guy O seven on the. Uh, oh right, right. Well, uh, I, I say the name, and, and he said, "Oh, okay, Lane." As in, I would have had a lower third for him if I had. If I had the exactly. name. caught the name, so you know, it, it's one of those things that happens. So we're still taking calls. If you'd like to call in now, the uh, <laughs> the Skype lines are open. Just uh, buzz Doc Normal on the Skype lines. We've got ten minutes left in the we'll, show. Uh, we'll get you. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, We'd be happy to answer yeah. your question. It's uh, thirty five minutes past the top of the hour. Twenty five <laughs> minutes to one. You're watching <laughs> Strange, Strange Love, Love Live. Live. I'm Cam and Chaos. <laughs> you just like to say that. I do like to say that. I have the but best I name only, ever. I only. It's a great name. It's a great on-air name. It's it's fun. It's just lively. And it's one of those things that I don't ever say, I'm Kimmy Chaos, unless I'm in the room. Unless you're with me. Unless I'm with you. It's not funny otherwise. It would be otherwise. creepy if you weren't <laughs> with me, creepy. right? It would be creepy if you just walked around going, I'm, I'm Kimmy Chaos. Chaos. I'm Kimmy Chaos. People would be like, that's very nice. You creepy, are a freak. Creepy guy. Yeah. <laughs> you're creepy guy. <laughs> yes, Kimmy Chaos, creepy guy. <laughs> So, you know, what's interesting is there's another Cami Chaos on Twitter, but where, I, as I spell my name, C-A-M-I, right. K-A-O-S, she mm-hmm. spells her name K-A-M-I, and then the traditional spelling of chaos. Mm-hmm. We are not the same person. It's been oh, rumored. Dr. Yeah. Normal has spelled my name for me on the on the stream. C-A-M-I-K-A-O-S. Oh, my my name is so musical. And did you notice I did a little bouncy ball? I did. That, that's what do, that was, do, by the way. Do, do, oh, see her going Maybe that's the service you can provide to us for a 30 hour day. You can be do, the bouncy do, finger. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it doesn't work so well when we're crossing no. like, different cameras. <laughs> it's like we got. Like, I, this is my personal favorite here when I do this. <laughs> 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 Dr. Norma was unimpressed oh with that behavior. <laughs> unimpressed, I I'm tell you. I'm wondering if this thing's uh, wrapping up. Oh, Actually, what? this is usually where we go to... It is to, kind of uh, wrap-up time. Yeah. Usually can we go to the, we can go go to the tapes? Yeah. Oh, the balloons. Yay. God, not the balloons. Oh. You're playing to an audience of one. Hey, uh, before, You're playing to lock it, guys. Before we go... Um, yes? I'm here, too. <laughs> you like the balloons? I don't the balloons. The balloons are the balloons. Uh, I can take them or leave them, whatever. Uh, we, uh, that, that was one. my reference. We've the reference that, yeah. was that lock it to you. Scott right. loves mm-hmm. the balloons. Oh, okay. Uh, the balloons are nice. But I wanted to ask, uh, because we have two folks um, in our production staff mm-hmm. that are monitoring the chat room, I wanted to see if there were any questions from the chat room or... Good question. <laughs> Rick, Rick Look at said. them dive in. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't, you don't I was making the thoughtful. If only you could see no, the no. thoughtful face that you know, Mr. Troy You know what they're doing right now is alt-tabbing out of their email and their words for friends. And like, <laughs> they're can like, we, can I we was back doing to... some other stuff. I was doing anything else. And <laughs> oh, then Rick is going to hide. Brought me up. Oh, they're so shy. Hey, um, Look how shy they are. It's great they're hiding, but they're also avoiding the question. Are there any questions in the chat room? Are they making fun of us? Mm. No. Is there anyone in the chat room? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Plenty of people in the chat room. They're just you not know, the asking. The thing about our chat room is they'd like to talk to each other, it, not, really, not really the, talk to us. The that? chat room here at SL. Things. Oh, that's yeah. fine. What are they chatting about? I, so I, I can or, fill in. I think that the SLL chat room is it's essentially it's the autonomous. Uh, conversation between the people who are watching the car yeah, crash. I mean, it, it, you know, <laughs> I mean, he it's pretty much us. the rubberneckers going, we just want to see the smoke come off this thing. You know, it's just like, well, th- th- here's the thing. We really should stream the 10 o'clock, the top of the hour. until the <laughs> No, no. You didn't want to stream that tonight. No, no. there I was a say, lot. You know, Dr. there were a Normal. lot of obscenities being muttered, and, and I was not the, the one word, muttering of them. The F word. In <laughs> there as many were liberal as use of the liberal F-word. use of the F word. Yes, the FCC would not be impressed with tonight's preparation. We have no, no. FCC here. Yeah, and I think we, we're very happy. Thank goodness, and that's one thing that Thirty Hour Day will have going for it is a no, uh, no obscenity filters. <laughs> but but we Doctor Normal doesn't like that. He wants us to behave ourselves. <laughs> oh, why was I invited? Well, I, no, I... Yeah, why Why were Rick and I invited? Because it was your idea. It oh, was Rick's idea. Yes. Wait, was it your idea or Rick's idea? Rick, was it your idea or my idea? 
Rick's like, oh, please, can you get me out of here? Know. He's like, I don't want to take credit for it because I don't want Cammy to be mad at me, but I don't want to give her credit for it because it might be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm torn. <laughs> Fair. Dude, I was right. Why did the viewer and count you know just to, suddenly go up? To be honest, I'm not joking. I don't want to take credit like, for it because I don't want Rick to be mad at me, but I don't want to give him credit for it because it might be brilliant. Right. Could you just split credit and be done with it? Rick and I came up with it together. You know what I think we're going to do? Go I blame inspired. you. Roll the balloons. <laughs> but I'm brilliant. No, I, I think we'll roll a 30 hour day PSA. Oh, That's great. Let's just... roll the 30 hour day PSA, but which, first which one let's say good night to everybody. No, hang on. Which one do we want to do? I don't know. Ask Rick. Short take, long take, Let's long do the long take. take. we got a while. We have no, 30 don't hours. don't do the long take. That's like five minutes. Right? I have bronchitis mm-hmm. when we recorded this. It's very unseemly. I short like take. the short take. was good. Yeah. I, like, I watched that short one all the way through. The short take was good. Yeah, the long take we can't watch all the way through. It was long. So roll Let's, that, and then we'll come back and say goodbye? That that's right. Sound good? Okay. okay. That sounds good right. to me. So if you don't know about 30 Hour Day, this is a great uh, little video. And of oh, course, these are all available online. You can check them out. on. They're on the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. They're also available linked from 30hourday.org, mm-hmm. 30hourday.org, mm-hmm. and uh, that would be December 18th, and uh, that's 19th. December 18th and, and 19th. 19th, it stretches for, because uh, okay. obviously it's not 30 hours. hours so. You can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash 30hourday, 30hourday, or on Facebook. And Facebook, and you can become a fan slash 30 hour day mm-hmm. you can become a fan of 30 hour day and uh i believe if you haven't seen the video already you're in for a treat if you have seen the video now's a great time to go refill your tiki drink and then of course come back because we're gonna say goodbye and you never know what's gonna happen then we could do something two crazy. minutes here we go so we'll join you on the other side of this two minutes hi i'm cammy chaos and this is rick tarosi and this is 30 hour day it's something that we're doing here in portland a 30 hour telethon but while we're in Portland, you might not be. We're going to be using this 30-hour telethon to raise money for charities here in Portland. And I think that you should try to use our 30-hour telethon and all of our content to raise money for charities wherever you are. Yeah, we're going to be live streaming this. So for 30 hours straight, we'll be up, not just us doing witty banter, but bringing in talent, entertainment, all that kind of stuff, sponsors, whatever. But the content's for you to use. So if you have a local charity that you want to raise money for, use 30 Hour Day to, to help with that. And, and what's more, tell us what you're doing. We'll announce it on the air, mm-hmm. send us some video, call in, let's talk about it. Let's get this 30 Hour Day to help everybody everywhere raise some money, whether you're in the US, England, India, Japan, we don't care. Australia. Australia, we'll be up. South America, what about mm-hmm. our friends in Brazil? Brazil. Sao, Sao Paulo. That uh, we will continue to live stream. Mm-hmm. We need content the whole time. There's going to be some times when the folks in Portland are just asleep. Mm-hmm. And you guys will be up. And we'd love to see some stuff going there. So if you'd like to partner with us, go to 30hourday.org. It's 30hourday.org. Or find us on Twitter at 30hourday. Or um, on Facebook at facebook.com slash 30hourday. We look forward to seeing you on December 18th and 19th for the 30 Hour Day podcast, but hopefully before. We'd love to work with you. Thanks. I'm I'm going to give you all a personal piece of advice and tell you never to record a promo for your event when you have bronchitis. I'm going to go so I'm going <laughs> to add to that if I might. Uh, never record anything when if you, you have, have bronchitis because I think you're supposed to relax. And when right? you have bronchitis, you're supposed to go to de- uh, to bed for several days mm-hmm. and take your medicine and go to sleep. But asking Kemi Chaos to like be chill and and not do anything for a couple of days is kind of like asking her not to have Girl Scout cookies. I like Girl Scout cookies. I do too. I yeah. almost brought some with me. That's how we met over mm-hmm. Girl Scout cookies. It was fond. Mm-hmm. It was a good time. I'll have him again soon. And we'll see each other again in a matter of weeks at 30 Hour Day, I know, which we just saw the fantastic. PSA for. Less than a month until 30 Hour Day. But you know what we have to do now? We have to say goodbye to people. And now it's time to say goodbye. Da, 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 da. Oh, he doesn't like it when we he do that. He just can't use that. Oh, <laughs> can't do that. He's very upset with us. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I We have no uh, live show next week. We'll have some interesting things coming up, though. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say yeah. gobble, gobble gobble. I give you permission to say gobble gobble. But thank you so much for joining us. And a big, big round of applause to the lovely Brian Westbrook, who doesn't get down here nearly often enough for my taste. And who likes to hold up the credits all on. You know what I do in the movie theater when they do the... I always like... Drives everybody crazy. Maybe like...
Do you talk during the actual movie part? No, of the no, movie? no. I just, then I just you're make, fine with I just, me. I just point at the screen and it moves. It's really kind yeah, of yeah. No, that doesn't powerful. bother me. It only bothers me when people talk over the movie. I don't like that. He's Push conducting the credits. There's nothing wrong with I'm that. I'm pushing them up. And here's the logo, the Strange Love Live logo. Strange oh, Love oh we're, getting ready, uh, we're getting oh, ready to be over. Are you going to say goodnight to everybody? Good night to everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Strange Love Live. You can check it out at strangelovelive.com. I'm Brian Westbrook, and that's Kim and Chaos. <laughs>